Hi everybody, I'm Kalea Youngblood, your Chief Marketing Officer here at the Austin Board of Realtors, and today I'm here with Jill Lieberknight. Welcome Jill, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Kalea. We are here for your 2023 Board of Directors elections, and we're going to be interviewing Jill today. So why don't you kick us off and tell us a little bit about who you are, what company you're with, and why you're running for the board. Absolutely. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. And I look forward to visiting with members today. Um, I'm Jill Lieberknight. I've been an agent since 2005. I joined, um, so I've been doing this 17 years. I'm a former high school teacher and uh, a transplant, uh, as a lot of folks folks are here in the Austin, Central Texas area. I came down to Austin to get my graduate degree at the University of Texas at Austin and decided to lay down roots like many folks do afterwards and um, was brought into St. Stephen's Episcopal School, the local boarding school in Westlake to start their theater focus academy and then uh, after that got into education consulting and uh, discovered real estate after that but uh, married to a Texan um, <laughs> who's a filmmaker playwright and we both uh, homeschool with our extended family, our, our teenage son, and, and do a lot of theater in the community. Wonderful. We, d we always love your animation. Oh, okay. Last, no, no, last night was no different. Yes. And so we appreciated that the dress up for our party like a rock star yesterday evening, so that was yeah. fun. Yeah, it took some time for me to get the 80s blue eyeshadow off. <laughs> yeah. I think I got all of it We off got for it today. for today's interview, <laughs> yeah. So as you know, just kind of getting back into business here, as you know, the Austin Board of Realtors directors they wear two hats. We have our association side, board of directors hat, and we also mm -hmm. have our MLS actress side hat. So let's talk about the MLS for a minute. How will you work to reinforce the value of the MLS? And um, you know, what do you want to see moving forward or changed as a board member? You know, I want to continue to support the, um, the expanding data accuracy awareness. I know we're, we're having a lot of dialogue and conversation about that right now. So I wanna help continue to support that awareness and also support any and all efforts um, to improve and, and lean into engaging and emerging technology mm -hmm. um, so that realtors can continue to remain competitive in this market. Um, and I know realtors are inundated on a day-to-day -day basis with a lot of education and information, but I really feel that awareness and education are key here in um, increasing sort of the value uh, that the MLS and Actress brings to uh, our toolkit as realtors. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, so let's switch gears. Okay. Now let's talk about the strategic plan on the association oh. side. What part of the strategic plan is most important to you and what would you like to see moving forward into 2023 and beyond? You know that I have been talking about this strategic plan for years. You have. It has, the whole plan has really struck a chord uh, with me. And uh, if you haven't spent quality time with this strategic plan, with our association strategic plan, um, I encourage you to sit down and have some, some time with it. Um, I have found it to be one of the clearest vision boards that I have seen in a long time. And after our recent diversity report, um, the, the aspect of our strategic plan that has risen to the surface for me right now is engaging members intentionally. Yeah. Um, and for those members who are, are new to ABOR and aren't aware of it, we have a diversity committee and our association has, been, uh, has launched and kicked off a groundbreaking diversity study to, to uh, establish baselines, benchmarks, and strategies uh, on our, uh, how do we increase diversity and inclusion in our association. And in our recent diversity report, 40, do you, do you might, I'm sure you know this, you know this, you know everything. 40% um, of members, when they were asked, how can ABOR uh, make improvements towards being more inclusive? 40% of our members recommended more networking, mentoring, and outreach programs. So our, our membership is asking for and requesting more connections mm -hmm. and more opportunities to be in community together. And you were mentioning the affiliate happy hour last night, and I had a chance to visit 
I mean, it was a one, first. It was wonderful to be in person again, yes, and it was. so many people were were good. talking about that. Mm -hmm. um, but in that room, there was Sheila Mustin, mm -hmm. who's been a realtor since 1974, mm -hmm. and I met Javier Rubio, who is licensed less than a year. And those, those, that, that was the the range of people that were at this event, and everyone was at the table. People just came up, and and just started getting to know one another. And there were many masterminds happening everywhere. So I, I bring that up because I have always been impressed with how members uh, and our association truly want to engage with each other in a variety of different ways. Last night it was in person, but sometimes it's online. Yeah. And sometimes it's on social media yeah. um, through our Facebook advocacy uh, group. So. Anyway, engaging intentionally, um, I think I'm so pleased that you guys are mindful and aware of it. Yeah, we, we like to call it, we try to reach our members where they are at mm -hmm. any given moment. So those, those are just some examples, so thank you for bringing that up. Um, I, I don't know what else to say about that except yes. Yes. Yes to all the things. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Many more. And I'm an ex-school teacher, so I always give homework assignments. Read, if you haven't. It's a four-page document. Read the strategic plan. It is. Thank you. Okay. Hands down awesome. Well, we're going into another strategic planning okay. year. So Good. we're going to need you for oh. that as well. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Very exciting. Okay. Well, let's talk about you for a minute. What okay. do you feel you bring to the table that will help move the association forward? You as an individual, as a professional, and as a board member. Okay. Creativity and a deep understanding of our membership. I've spent the last four years serving on the diversity committee, uh, this year serving as the diversity chair, uh, and I spent three years serving on the leadership vetting committee. Uh, I was a chair uh, for one of the years on that. And both of those committees, Kalea, are, have just been an unbelievable training ground and a deep dive research mm -hmm. into all things ABOR membership. Mm -hmm. um, and also, my superpower, I don't okay. know if you know this, oh. my superpower is action. Yeah. And I hope to bring that to the leadership table. Uh, I, don't, I don't shy away from scary environments, tough conversations, um, difficult decisions, challenging personalities or uh, group dynamics. And my heart and mind are open and I am Nothing energizes me more than collaborative, authentic collaborative efforts um, and bridging divides. And I mm -hmm. think this is a really um, important time for people to uh, be coming to the table from yeah. different backgrounds and having a conversation. Uh, and I consider myself professionally with my background in the arts uh, and as an educator, I consider myself a creativity generator. Um, and I, I love listening. I really truly get energized listening to other people's ideas uh, and finding pathways to mutual goals. Mm -hmm. um, I love that. So. Well, you uh, kicked us off into a perfect segue and that is challenges. Mm -hmm. So being a problem solver, being a listener, tell us what you feel the biggest challenge is impacting our industry right now and what should ABOR and actress be doing to, uh, to move the needle forward? That's a really good question. You know, I, this, my answer is realtor adaptability. And I'll be honest, that's not a cutting edge idea. I'm not, you know, generating a new creative idea here. Real estate is always an evolving market. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think we have a tendency as realtors to get stuck in a routine um, and systems, but we always need to cultivate an environment of adaptability, mm -hmm. flexibility, innovation. Um, and I feel like our, both our industry and our local market is going through a significant changing landscape and environment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like you know, whether it's from iBuyers that are interrupting our market to clear cooperation to affordability, our Texas 
property tax code our elusive land use <laughs> revamp that I don't know if it's ever going to happen. Um, we really need to find ways to be in dialogue with each other and, and find ways to adapt. And something that I've, I've been really mindful of this past year and attending a lot of different conferences is that our Austin realtor community is really collaborative. Yeah. So I actually think that we have the potential to adapt quicker because we are in community and connection uh, and collaboration together. So yeah. I'm hoping to, to increase that. Love that, love that. Well, thank you for joining us today, Jill. It was a fabulous interview. Is there anything else you'd like to tell your colleagues as they consider their vote for the 2023 Board of Directors election? Absolutely. I just want, I just want my ABOR peeps, my ABOR family, to know that I'm here to connect more of you so that you feel welcome, that you feel that you belong, and that you feel that your voice matters. Your voice is valued in this mem at this membership table. Yes. Uh, and I've uh, been inspired by many wonderful leaders here at ABOR. And I'm here, I'm showing up for duty, and I'm here to pay it forward so that others can step up and get involved. Wonderful. Well, that was a wonderful interview. Thank you so much again for joining us. Thank you. For those of you that are ready to vote for your 2023 Board of Directors election, it will go live at, on September 19th and close at 5 p.m. on September 21st. So don't forget to vote. Be on the lookout for all of the candidate interviews, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.